You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast by Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom, Dr. Frederick J. Long, Dr. Mario Melendez, Dr. Jennifer Noonan, and J. M. Smith. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom, and in this episode of the podcast, I'm thinking about three things, and I'm going to share those three things with you. The first thing that I'm thinking about. Well, actually, all three things are three new books uh, put out by Glossa House. But in a second, I'll tell you about the first one I'm thinking about. So these three new books can be found at GlossaHouse.com. If you're watching, uh, you'll be able to see up on the screen here in just a moment, the GlossaHouse.com homepage. Lightning fast, super easy, and boom, here you go. Don't forget, we have the Glossa House Digital Library for sale. Uh, as well, you can access all our print books as ebooks, and you can also subscribe to the digital uh, AV, the audio video library as well, which is a different thing. So go check those out. But the three things that I'm thinking about are these three books right here King Lesser Light's Crown, 50 Animals, an Ancient Greek Coloring Book, and 50 Verbs, an Ancient Greek Picture Book. And you can see the prices on these are super low. Right, the uh, 50 verbs in ancient Greek picture book. This is level one in the Agros uh, curriculum. It's only 11.79. The 50 animals ancient Greek coloring book, only 8.99. Now, both of these will have audio available soon, so you can uh, listen to the Greek words as you color or after you color, before you color, whatever. And we also just launched this new Glossa House fiction and fantasy series, and King Lesser Light's Crown by Dr. Charlie Starr is the first volume in that, the lead-off volume. So what I want to do now is actually give you, if you're watching, a peek inside each of these books. If you're just listening, then this is a time I would encourage you to come back and watch the podcast once you get a chance. So let's start with King Lesser Light's Crown. As I said, this is by Dr. Charlie Starr, and he is the leading scholar in the world, by the way. He's been on the Proof Text podcast on C.S. Lewis's handwriting. So he's helped authenticate and even uh, find some of Lewis's manuscripts. And so in this uh, text, King Lesser Light's Crown, it's all about this terrible goon, uh, uh, sorry, terrible gloom that stills King Lesser Light's heart and replaces it with an old ticking clock. Uh, and they live in this slanted house. There's this Lady West Wind. The home leads to many countries. Uh, it's all kinds of crazy. There's daylight astronomy and shooting stars and a shepherd of floating pools. It's interesting. The Princess of Snow, right? She tells the king that his, his heart is gone while the dancing sun shares his pain, and there, uh, there's Lord Lord's Valley. I mean, all kinds of whimsical stuff. If you want to read some great fantasy and fiction that has a theological bent to it, much in the vein of Lewis and Tolkien and uh, others like that, you need to get King Lesolite's Crown. Only seven eighty nine. It's over a hundred pages. When we look at this uh, you can see on the interior that there's illustrations that go along with it as well uh, in pretty much each of the chapters you have illustrations these are all hand-drawn illustrations yeah so uh, as I said it's over a hundred pages and you'll find this very, very intriguing, very, very interesting. King Lesser Light's Crown. So get, go get that. It's under eight bucks, y'all. Go get it while uh, it's still at that incredible price. Um, the next thing that I'm thinking about is one of those Greek books that I was telling you about. Let's have a look first, then, at... Uh, Let's do the coloring book. Yeah, yeah, let's do the coloring book. So here we go. If you're watching, I'm going to give you a peek inside that. All right. So there we go. 
50 animals in ancient Greek coloring book. So what this does is, I mean, the, the title is very like descriptive. On each page is a Greek word and the image of the animal for that Greek word. So right here on the first page, it's all in alphabetical order, by the way. We have el, eluros, right? Eluros, uh, which is a cat, of course. And we have on the next page, acris, which is a grasshopper. And we can go on and on and on. There's all kinds. You can color the Greek words. You can color the images, the animals. So we have scorpios later on, which is a scorpion. And then at the very back of the book, we have a nice glossary. By the way, there is a bonus word in here. So you actually get 51, not just 50. Um, but you have, uh, you have the glossary in alphabetical order with their English glosses in case you get stuck. But the pictures are, are pretty easy to figure out. This is really fun if you want to work with your children on uh, Koine or just getting Greek. This is what you should do. If, if you're one of those people who does like therapeutic coloring as an adult, here you go. You can learn some Greek while you're doing it. So that's the second resource, the second thing that I wanted to tell you about. The third thing that I want to share with you is another one of those Greek books. And um, here we go. Let's get that on the screen as well. This is the 50 Verbs book. So here we go. If you're watching, you'll be able to see that pop up now. And again, it's pretty much just what it says it is. It's 50 verbs. And what you see, this isn't a coloring book, but this is in color already. And um, it just has 50 different verbs that will really be helpful for getting into Koine and practicing Koine. So these are in their first person, present active indicative forms. So agarazo, obviously, I buy. Um, we have ado, I sing. Akuo, I listen or I hear. On the vano, I go up. These are easy. And once again, at the back of the book, we have a glossary. And these, again, are in alphabetical order with their English glosses. And as I said before, these two Greek books, the 50 verbs and um, the 50 animals books, they all they both will have uh, audio companion files to go with them. That'll be dirt cheap as well. And just to give you a heads up, there's numerous other 50 uh, books coming. So uh, those will be uh, releasing in actually in the next several weeks and perhaps even beyond. But this kind of a little series I've started, um, these 50 words, these, these 50 items that, yeah, really vocabulary words that you can learn just by simply looking at pictures, listening to audio, reading these out loud. It's a great way to get your young kids started on Greek. If you're a pastor out there, start them early. This is a great way at bedtime to teach your kid a Greek word. Or in the morning during breakfast, you could uh, have the uh, book out each day when they wake up and go through a Greek word. Or during devotion times, family devotion times, or prayer times, you could the Bible study times. You could use these books for that, the coloring books or the picture books. It's great for that. And there are more coming down the pipe, down the pipeline. So be on the lookout for those. But that's three things that I'm thinking about. Charlie, Dr. Charlie Starr's book, King Lesser Light's Crown, the lead off in our Glossa House Fantasy and Fiction uh, series. And my two books, 50 Animals, which is a coloring book, an ancient Greek coloring book, and 50 Verbs, which is an ancient Greek picture book that's in color. Yeah, so check those out. Go to glosahouse.com right now and get those. And uh, keep an eye out for the audio too. All right, I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glosa House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glosa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glosahouse.com today. Glosa House, language resources for the global community.